Hi everyone, so I'm looking very bright today because I'm doing a battle of the neons. I thought I'd do this because neons are coming back in a really big way. A whole bunch of brands have released neon palettes recently. Huda Beauty has released some neon palettes. Kaleidos is releasing some neons. Lime Crime as well. And as much as I love neons, I don't wear them that frequently, enough to justify me purchasing any more neons. I already have these two, and I thought I'd do a comparison of them, which one I think performs better. Um, mostly because I haven't really used these Colourpop ones since they, since I've gotten them. I got them in April this year. I mean, Colourpop releases so much, I don't know how anyone keeps up with Colourpop releases. Um, and this Melt Radioactive stack, which I have not used in a very long time, um, but I do in particular love this yellow. It's my favourite yellow in my entire collection. Um, and I went through a phase where I was wearing yellow f like every day for a week um, after that Lisa Eldridge how to wear yellow eyeshadow video came out. Um, yeah, it's such a good yellow. So this is what the melt stack looks like and the Colourpop ones. They're in individual cases. It's annoying to pull out. So I'm just gonna, gonna put it on the screen what shades they are. So I thought I'd do that today. Do a comparison of these two if you're interested. As usual, I'm gonna do swatch comparisons of these two brands. Do one on one side, the other on the other side. Can you guess which side is on which? And then let's see if you get it right at the end. As usual, I compare the shades that are similar. And no primer, by the way. I'll start with Melt. We've got Melt, which is Xenon. This is a gorgeous green. Lime green. Beautiful. Then we've got um, Keep Scrolling from Colourpop. And it kind of bothers me that it's in, like, an orange case rather than the green case. I mean, I don't know why they did that, but this is the green here. Slightly lighter. I can see straight off the bat, it's not as pigmented. This is Radon. Lots of fallout. It's very, very powdery. And then we've got oh, oh, oh. Ooh, this is nice and pigmented too. That's a nice color. Very similar actually, if not slightly deeper and more red. We've got the pink, which is radioactive. Oh, this pink is stunning. Then we have Sandbar from Colourpop. Looks super vibrant and pretty. And then obviously I've got the yellow from Melt, which is neon. I love this yellow. It's a great yellow. Beautiful yellow. Love, love, love this yellow. I don't feel like, because I've got this yellow, I don't feel like I need any other yellows in my life. And then we've got a purple, which is Seeing Stars from Colourpop. It's a vibrant purple. So these are the shades. The Colourpop ones actually look really nice. The only one that looks a bit underwhelming is the green. I want to use all the shades, so it might look very colourful today. That's okay, I'm on maternity leave. I can do whatever I want to my eyes. I will do Melt on this side, Colourpop on this side. So I'm going to start off with Orange, Radon. Got some clean brushes here. I'm going to colour switch them and use the same brush. I already have my primer on, which is the Hard Candy Primer. I think I'm gonna do like a neon halo eye sort of thing. So we're gonna start off with Radon on this side. I'm gonna add it to the outer corner. I have not used this shade in such a long time. Also gonna add it to the inner corner as well. Ooh, there is lots of fallout. And I do find in general Melt's eyeshadows are pretty powdery. It's a little bit messy, but we're gonna clean it up. I'm gonna color switch that and do the same with Triple O from ColourPop on this side. I feel like this one is definitely more pigmented. Very nice color. No fallout with this one. And really easy to blend out. Now we're going to go in with the pink. I'm going to use that to give the orange some dimension. So I'm going to kind of layer it on here in the same areas. I love a beautiful neon pink. So even though it didn't swatch particularly well, I feel like it's going on pretty nicely on the eyelids. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of Radon just to blend out the edges. Okay, going to do the same with the Colourpop one, and that is Sandbar. It does look slightly deeper in the pan. We'll see how similar it is on the eyelids. Such a gorgeous pink shade. And again, going to blend that out with that orange shade. Just add a little bit more on top. The green. I've got Xenon. I want to add the green on the lower lash line, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this Hakuhoto brush. We'll see how that goes. And I am going to take it a little bit, like I'm going to blow it out more than I normally would. 
just because I want it to really show. Because I do have some fallout here, I need to just rub that away. Now I do have quite a lot of texture under my eyelids and I definitely feel like this does emphasize it. That's what happens when you take a bright color under this area, I think. I'm gonna do the same on the other side with Keep Scrolling, which is the green from the ColourPop one. And straight off the bat, this kind of definitely has more of a white base to it. It kind of, in a way, looks more pastel green than neon green, like the one from Melt does. Out of the three shades I've used from ColourPop, this one is the worst. It's not super, super pigmented, and on top of that, it's, like I said, it looks more like a pastel green than a neon green. It's just blending out not very well. Um, I'm layering it again so that it just doesn't blend away into nothing. But I can sort of tell that this, it's not a really nice green, to be honest. I don't really like this green. We're going to just try and build that up. So it looks decent, but it, it's kind of blending it away. Try pat it on instead. So I've built this up for like the fifth time and I don't, I think this is, I feel like this is the best it's going to get. So I'm going to just leave it at that. And then for the shade that is yellow and purple, I am going to add them on the center. So obviously this is not going to look the same. So the yellow, I oh, love this yellow, it's so good. Add it on the center. and then blend it out with some of the pink. It doesn't look so harsh. Such a vibrant, beautiful yellow. I feel like I wanna add a little bit of that in the inner corner as well. Love a good yellow inner corner highlight. Taking a clean brush, no eyeshadow on here, I'm gonna blend out that as well. Just don't want too many harsh lines especially with colors like this. Color switching this, I'm gonna add purple on the center. Seeing stars from ColourPop. So obviously these aren't gonna look exactly the same, same pattern. I never usually do a dark color for the center, but I'm gonna try it today. And I'm not gonna add the purple on the inner corner because I know that's gonna look terrible. I definitely think this, it looks strange with the darker color on the center. So I don't know how I feel about that. I might actually bring that purple closer in here. So it looks more like it's a gradient rather than like a weird halo eye. I think that looks a little bit better. And again, I'm gonna take a clean blending brush. This is a MAC 217, just to clean up the edges. So I think that's pretty much all I wanna do with this. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and come back and give you my thoughts. So as you can see, I've got the rest of my makeup on. I've added a bright lip. This is Bang Bang from Melt Cosmetics. It's a gorgeous, shocking orange color. I don't really get a chance to wear this that often, so I'm wearing it today. And I've also added a bit of black liner. I've added this black from the subliminal palette from Pat McGrath because I really like this black. It's just a really easy to work with black. It's nice and pigmented. I just felt like I needed some definition on the eyes so that's why I've added that there. I was thinking about false lashes but I thought no, I can't be bothered honestly. I just with false lashes these days. I haven't worn false lashes in months. So yeah these are the two eyeshadows side by side. I do love neons. I just don't wear them so often because they're not really a part of my daily routine but I think they're a lot of fun and they can create a lot of impact on the eyes. The melt side is a lot more obviously neon. I think the shades in here, you know, you can really tell that they're more vibrant, especially with the the green. I think it's just such a gorgeous green. I think the purple with the ColourPop toned everything down, but I do think that the pink and the orange from ColourPop are really nice. I can really take a leave that green, that green is a pretty bad green. I would not go for a green like that again. It's more like a pastel green and pastels traditionally don't work out so great unless um, they're made well. And this one I don't think is doing it for me. It is very light and, and uh, not neon compared to the melt side. So yeah, I would pass on this if you're looking for a neon green this ain't it. The one from Melt is so much better and I think it's really the only neon green I have in my collection. No, actually, I might have the Sugar Pill one. Okay, I have got a green from the Sugar Pill one too. However, if you actually look at them next to each other, I would still say that it's not quite a neon, neon green compared to the Melt one. It's more like just a lime green. So yeah, I would say that I don't really have anything like that in my entire collection. I do think that the pink and that orange is really nice. They performed really well. I would say comparably with the Melt ones. So if you're looking for like a neon pink and a neon orange, 
I think these are nice options, um, especially for the price point because this, you know, the melt stacks aren't cheap. I mean, if I had to choose one collection over the other, I'm going to go for the melt one. I just find that the colors are just really punchy, vibrant, um, and beautiful to work with. That that yellow, it's actually one of my favorite yellows in my entire collection, if not my favorite yellow from my entire collection. It does have a little bit of shimmer to it, but you can't really tell once it's on the eyes. I think that they added the shimmer so it is a little bit easier to blend. They are super powdery though, compared to the Colourpop ones. I found that there was pretty much no fallout with these. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know which side you prefer, which ones you would go for, and let me know your thoughts. Hopefully you found this fun to watch. I always enjoy kind of comparing and contrasting different formulas from different brands of similar color stories. I just find it fun. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.